Hello everyone. I wanted to talk about emotions and I wrote this. Okay, I'm going to put it here. It's It says don't be afraid to feel the uncomfortable emotions. They help you make the best decisions and will lead you to well-being. Okay, and I wrote that and one client of mine, she's from, from Spain, she said that she okay I know I have to do that okay but I really don't want to do that because I have a lot of emotions that I'm trying to avoid constantly because they're too hurtful and so I said okay yeah I get it but you need to face them like to just acknowledge them okay but it's not clear why you know and then she started doing her own research and I tried to explain that to her and so this is my video where I'm talking about this, okay? So emotions and are very, very super important because they are, they are the way we experience, you know, the, the world. And that is how we make cognitions even. There's, if, for example, some memory. If you have good memory, you have to have good, you know, emotions because otherwise you don't remember. And um, you need to associate an event with an emotion, for example right so emotions are very important that you deal with them that you acknowledge them and because sometimes people are afraid to to express them because they're scared that they will wallow in them like I will spend too much time with my emotions and then with my usually uncomfortable ones which negative emotions and there's you know afraid that they won't be able to get out of the a depression for example or something but Interestingly enough, if you try to bottle your emotions or deny them or repress them, that is when depression comes up, okay? So that's when the, the lid of the, of, you know, with, you know, a big, if you have a huge pan of boiling water and then the lid starts to explode, <laughs> that's how the, you know, emotions burst up if you don't regularly check them, right? Uh, so it's important, especially for uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, for complex PTSD, to have like a diary or keep track of your emotions daily. Anything that is not being aware of them, you know, honoring them, is basically is repeating the pattern of narcissistic abuse because what you did growing up with a narcissist or even living with a narcissist is mainly deny your own emotions, deny your existence. You're not there. You're something that is molded to my will, okay? As a narcissist, let's say. So if you lived with a narcissistic person, you will find that you are trained to not feel, basically, to, to put your emotions aside or to bottle them, bottle them up or just ignore them or repress them. And what we need to do is the opposite, okay? We need to write about them, see which emotions you're having right now. Um, for example, if you have anxiety, what made you feel that way? What's the cause of that, right? Um, try to analyze that. If you don't find the answer, that's fine. Just keep being aware of those. Mindfulness, yoga, meditation, all that helps you train that muscle of being atten paying attention to your emotions so um, uh, what happens if you if you don't do that so emotions will come up like it's tsunami one day and you won't have a clue why they're coming up right so that's why depression comes that's when states of depression come up you're very very sad but you don't know why so if you pay attention regularly to little things, you know, acknowledge them. So how you process your emotions? Just first be curious about them. Have this attitude of curiosity. Okay, so I'm feeling a bit anxious. Oh, okay, maybe I'm overworking. Yeah, this is self-referencing because this is exactly what I went through the other day. So, and I said, oh gosh, no, because I love my work so much. I love seeing clients I love trying to help them find out what's, you know, making them feel better, seeing 
like thrive, get better, do things, go for things that they want to do. Uh, I just love doing that. I also love filming videos, editing. I like even editing. I'm a counselor, but I'm also a YouTuber. <laughs> so I like everything I do. Thank God I'm very grateful for that. But so I'm doing so much right now and I'm having, I'm having a lot of clients. So I need to, you know, calm down, start to take, for example, I took today off because I was feeling not so good yesterday. Very happy about my clients and seeing them, but I felt like anxiety here, you know. When you start feeling like that, you say, whoa, 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 hold on, okay. So I, I did this, I said, okay, so what happened? What is it? Is this? No, this? No. Uh, okay. It's that I want to write, for example, I have to write, I have so many things to write about that I want you guys to download and so that you can get them, you know, what I write and all that, an ebook, for example. And I haven't had the time. I've been working a lot, seeing clients, and which I love. So I was, no, 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 I'm taking another client, and another client, and another client, and then I don't have time for myself. So that was my anxiety about, right? And also the situation with the pandemic and all that, that that's not helpful also. So, so I said, okay, this is it, that's okay. So now I have to accept it, that's it, you know? Emotions are our roadmap, so they will guide you. They are sort of our Google Drive thing that we have. They will guide you to where you need to go. Because So now what I have to do is calm down, relax, try to reduce you know, the amount of people, the new people I take into my, to, you know, to my counseling practice. And so I have a waiting list right now. Okay, so that's that. And then now, the next thing is to be compassionate, okay? You have to be compassionate with yourself, self-compassion. And say, okay, this is what I'm feeling. You won't be able to work like 24 seven. You have to have breaks. And so, yeah, okay. Yeah, I have to do that. It's not what I wanted, but hey, I'm human, <laughs> you know? I have to have my space where I'm not working. Okay, great. Although, but, but I really like to work, you know? Yeah, I know you like to work, but this is me talking to myself. But in order to keep working and be healthy, you will have to take breaks, you know? Get out in the sun, do nothing for a while, more often than you're doing right now, things like that. And then the, my next step was action. Okay, so what actions do I need to take in order to to, you know, to follow what I'm feeling, to, oh, to acknowledge what I'm feeling. Okay, so I'm feeling anxious because I'm working too much. So what I need to do is to take this day off. So this is what I did today. I took my day off, okay? So if you didn't get my email on time, you know why. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't answering emails today. I needed to disconnect. And so now I'm filming this video, which makes me very happy. And, you know, and then I'm going to... I, I played with my younger boy outside in the sun because I needed to get some, you know, vitamin D and all that. And sun, you know, I needed that. So that's what I did. And I, I, whenever my my monkey brain came up reminding me that I needed to, to work, I said, okay, no, you have to rest. And you know, magically, my uncomfortable sort of thing here that I felt <sighs> went away. It's that amazing. So if you pay attention, acknowledge, write about, honor your emotions, you will have a great roadmap for your life that will guide you. Okay, that will guide you. So this is why we talk about uh, emotional intelligence because if you are attuned to what you feel, your emotions and also your body, uh, that will guide you through your journey, you know, your life, that will guide you. So I'm making changes because of that, you know. So that's how important emotions are. So. My advice to you is 
write about them, don't deny them, don't bottle them, don't be afraid of them. Just acknowledge them, you know, they are our friends' emotions. Although sometimes are not nice, don't feel good, they are telling you something. They are telling you, no, 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 that's not the way, you know, go right, no, okay, that way. So something like that, you know. And then when you follow that throughout your life, you will feel better. And when trauma, when we talk about trauma, there are a lot of emotions that haven't been processed. And so it's even more important to listen to them, to try to connect with yourself, with yourself, to be attuned to your body because trauma sits in the body so the body is also another way you know it's the next step when you don't listen to your emotions the body will tell you you will get sick somehow okay there are a lot of sicknesses that are symbolic for things that you went through it's very important like emotions are very important uh, you know i don't know why they're not taught in schools because they should be taught in schools i mean for kids they need to know Besides geography, geometry, mathematics, they need to know that to thrive in life, you have to be attuned to your body, to your emotions. Because that's the roadmap. That's the GPS system that we have. Okay? So, yeah. That's a big, you know, general view of emotions and trauma. And I hope you found it interesting. Please subscribe to this channel like it, share this video if, if you think someone will benefit from it and I hope I can see you next Saturday, okay? Bye-bye, take care!